welcome to another video! Today we are doing an Easter video! Sort of. <laughs> no, it is. Um, I'm making peanut butter eggs. You know, like Reese's peanut butter chocolate covered yummy Easter candy eggs. I am going to be making some of those. I seen a recipe on da -da -da, Facebook <laughs> and I thought, well that looks easy. I think I can do that. I mean, what could go wrong, right? So that's what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing, it's a really super easy recipe for chocolate covered Easter eggs. So, um, without further ado, let's just get right into doing that. Shall we? Let's go. So what you're going to need is some cream cheese, some chocolate for dipping. I just got almond bark. I got, uh, chocolatey, chocolate. <laughs> chocolate flavored almond bark and I also got the vanilla flavored almond bark for dipping and then you also need powdered sugar and then I also got I got some sprinkles to try and decorate them with so we'll see if that works and then you're supposed to shape them with your hands into like eggs but I thought why do that when I can get a half of a little Easter egg thing to make the, uh, the egg shape so and then a bowl and a spoon uh, there a spoon <laughs> and yeah let's see what we can uh, if we can whip together these here chocolatey covered Easter eggs and I almost forgot the most important ingredient peanut butter yes you gotta have peanut butter to make peanut butter eggs now don't ya so let's get to work on that so the first thing that I need to do is it says to Da, 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 da. It says eight ounces of cream cheese, three cups peanut butter, two sticks, oh butter, butter, forgot butter, need butter. Two sticks of butter, two pounds of powdered sugar, mix together well and shape into eggs. Seems pretty simple, doesn't it? Okay, so we're, I'm just gonna mix all these in here ingredients into here. Okay, so I've got three cups of peanut butter. Urgh. I'm using creamy, but you probably could use crunchy. Actually, I probably in retrospect should have done crunchy because that sounds a lot better. Like, but I like crunchy peanut butter, so a little crunch just adds a little pizzazz, if you know what I mean. But we got our three, three cups of peanut butter. And this would make a, a fun little activity to do with your kids for Easter because it's pretty simple. <laughs> At least it seems simple. This is my first time trying it, but I mean, it. I shouldn't be able to screw this up. <laughs> All right, so we got a three cups of peanut butter. I need eight ounces of cream cheese. Open, open package, open. There we go. Ugh. So this is sort of like peanut butter cheesecake is what we're happening here. This is like peanut butter cheesecake. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, I'm getting this all over my fingers. <laughs> but how else do you get it out? Boom. All right. All right. Next, we need a paper towel because I'm goopy. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> wipe the goo off my fingers. All right. Next. We need two sticks of butter. Got my butter. Two sticks of butter. Now it doesn't say anything about softening or melting any of this stuff, so I guess it's just trial and error. Whoa. We're <laughs> Get back in there. We're gonna see, because I didn't soften anything. <laughs> and I probably should have. But we'll see. We will see. We're just gonna throw it all in there and try and mushy it up, I guess. <laughs> Come on, you. <laughs> oh my goodness. This paper don't want to come off. No! Ah! There. Two sticks of butter. And then we need two pounds of powdered sugar. That is a lot of powdered sugar, y'all. That's a lot of powdered sugar. But I'm going to see if we can't. Oh my goodness, I definitely should have. Oh, I should have. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. I should have... <laughs> I should have softened this butter first. It is not... Oh. Alright, this could take a minute, so... I'm going to turn you guys off while I try and soften this butter. Alright, so I have softened it somewhat with my hands, but I have... Well, not my hands, you know, spoons. But I have whipped out my arch nemesis, the hand mixer, and hopefully that will do the, uh, do the deed here. Which I probably should have used first, you know. But I don't like using this thing because it doesn't like me. <laughs> yes, I still need to get a new one. Have I gotten a new one? No! I haven't. Because I don't think of it, except when I need to use it. <laughs> Which isn't very often. Because I don't like cleaning the, uh... The beaters and stuff. <laughs> the least amount of dishes I have to do, the happier I am. <laughs> but this seems to be doing the trick. So, getting that butter all blended in. Okay, that looks good. So now we're gonna add our two pounds, two whole pounds of powdered sugar. That just seems like a bad idea, but that be what it says to do. So that's what we're gonna do. That just seems like a lot of sugar to me. Well, it's the whole bag of sugar, as a matter of fact. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add it just a little bit at a time. So we're gonna pop this puppy on. I'm gonna put a little bit in there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be messy. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, oh, tell, ah! <laughs> you know, this is a lot of powdered sugar. Don't you think that powdered sugar is just so pretty? It's like the embodiment of clouds. You know, you see clouds and you're like, I want to go bounce around in those clouds. <laughs> At least I do anyway. They look so soft, and I can imagine that laying on them would be like laying on whipped cream or powdered sugar or something like that. But this just looks like the... Em <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> the embodiment of clouds right here. I still think this is a lot of sugar, but what do I know, right? Cannot challenge the knowledge of the all-knowing Facebook. <laughs> so I decided that I was just going to get in there with my hands because trying to mix this wasn't working. Plus I can squish up all those bigger chunks of butter that I left in there. And yeah, this is way more, <laughs> way more pliable. Ugh. With all the excess sugar in there. Ugh. Okay, so I think I got this pretty well mixed. Yeah, much better. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, easier to shape right there. Oh, I missed a hunk of butter. All right, I'll get that squished in there. Squish, squish. Squished. Okay. Now that I have put sugar and stuff all over <laughs> my tray. <coughs> okay, so now we're gonna try doing this again. But I have a thought that what I can do is pat it out like a biscuit dough or something and use it like a cookie cutter. Yeah, buddy. Let's try that. Oh, oh yeah. Ta-da! Aw, look at that. That's so cute. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do.
Okay, I got 20 on the tray. Get over there. That is a surprisingly lot of peanut butter. <laughs> egg batter. I am surprised that this recipe made so much. I would think that it would be a smaller batch. You know, like, who is going to eat that many chocolate and peanut butter eggs? But apparently I'm going to be doing this for a while. But I'm going to put these ones into the freezer so they can harden. And then we will melt our chocolate and commence dipping. Okay, so I perfected my egg making. <laughs> so I'll show you what I came up with. All right, so you just take a big old ball and you put it in your hand like so. You pat it just a little bit. You take your little half of an egg and you just push it down like so. Remove the excess egg. Press it like that. Just keep removing the excess like so. Doot, doot, doot. And then you just go boop, 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 bam, egg. Stick it on your sheet. There you go. Just so you know that I did perfect it. <laughs> so, like, apparently I have taken a very, very simple recipe and I have found a way to screw it up somehow. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I'm trying to melt my almond bark. Look at this. What the heck? I don't know what happened. I don't know. But that cannot be dipped in. So, I don't know. I didn't have a microwave, so I did not microwave it. I was trying to do it on stovetop with a double broiler type thing. So you put water in the pan, you put it in the water pan. I don't know. Google says to just put it directly onto the fire. I tried that and it just was like cooking it. It's like cooking my almond bark. I don't know what I've done. Sue. So, yeah. We'll just have to try the chocolate, I guess. Okay, I got the chocolate one to actually work. I'm not sure what what happened with the vanilla, but I guess, I don't know. I guess I got it too hot, maybe. I'm not sure. Tried the double broiler thing, but apparently you just stick it right on the stove. So that's what it did. And that worked. So, let's pull out our... Our little eggies here. Let's squish that over here and this over here. And okay, now I guess I'm just gonna. Arr, these are hard. I actually, I didn't put them in the freezer because they wouldn't fit in the freezer, so I put them just in the refrigerator, and they got pretty hard. So let's give them a little whoop and a little whoop. Da -da. There we go. Let them drip a bit, I guess. Oh, we'll shut one there. Iggy number one. Boop. 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 There we go. La la. Iggy number two. Okay, I got a small batch of them over here, so I'm going to try the uh, sprinkles before they get too hard. And hopefully that works. This is why I oftentimes put on my videos success or failure, because honestly, it could go either way. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can't go. No, those ones are okay. That one is stuck. That one's still already too hard. <laughs> okay. All right, we got some sprinkles on them. Boom. All right, we'll move on to some more. All right.
right, I got one tray worth done. So I got 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Well, 22 and a half because one of them broke. <laughs> All right, so I call this a success. I put, uh, well, I guess I'll... Some of them have sprinkles and some of them don't because some of them uh, got too cold fast. <laughs> too cold too fast. But there we go. All right. Let's let those harden and then we'll give them a taste. Okay. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Leave it to me to mess something up on a very, very simple recipe. But, um... Yeah, don't do what I did. I tried the double broiler method for the for the almond bark, and apparently that's not what you're supposed to do. You just put it directly onto the stove on low heat and let it melt, and it's creamy and delicious and lovely. So, don't do what I did. <laughs> um, I had never actually melted almond bark, but I have done actual chocolate before. And actual chocolate, you want to use like a double broiler. That did not work. But nonetheless... Um, it was a success. I, I think that they look lovely. Here are my lovely eggs. Oops, stay on the plate. <laughs> my lovely Easter peanut butter eggs. And they actually look, look like little eggs. <laughs> so I think that that's a success. Little eggs. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, there's only one thing left, and that's to taste our eggs. So I had the one that actually broke. <laughs> So I'm going to taste that one because they're all so pretty. <laughs> I don't want to hurt them. <laughs> but we're going to taste the, uh, the chocolate, the, the, yeah, we're going to taste this thing. Mmm, <laughs> good. It's actually not overly sweet like I thought it would be. I thought it would be like really, really sweet. And it is sweet, but... It's not, it tastes like a peanut butter cup. It tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup egg thing. It's delicious and simple and make a, <laughs> I may not have made it look simple, but it really is quite simple and make a nice little thing for you to do with your kids, I think. So I call the peanut butter chocolate covered peanut butter. <laughs> The chocolate covered peanut butter eggs. A success! <laughs> if you liked it, <laughs> hit the like button. If you really liked it, subscribe. And also, if you're already subscribed, make sure and hit the little bell below the screen over here, little bell, so that you know that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So, <laughs> also, you can follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.